What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ the Cheese DJ here, back with another ARK Inside video and today we're taking a look at the two behemoths of ARK, technically only the one, the Titanosaur, look at the sheer size of him, and the Giganotosaurus. That's right, today we'll be comparing these two, oh okay that's a colossal size poo, today we'll be comparing these two, their stats, their movement speed, and you know, just the regular go-to with the rest of their stats. So, as you can tell, the Titanosaur is the largest creature in Ark. It rivals that of the Dragon. Obviously, the Giga. It rivals that of the Giga. It is... Look, it's ginormous. Look at the size of it. Look at the spines along its back. Now, it is gigantic. Now, on the official servers, this is my single-player world, so obviously I can have this guy in. I force-tamed him and summoned him in. But on the official servers, there are only a maximum of three on the island at any time. And to be able to knock these guys out, you have to actually have cannons, uh, ballisters, and catapults lodged onto your dino or mount or anything like that, and fire it at its head. And that will do the torpor damage to it. However, you will be in for the long haul, as this guy has heck of a torpor. He has so much torpor, it's not funny. You can see here, if we can, there we go, we're on him now. You can see here, he has 25,000 torpor, which, you know, is no biggie. Mind you, this is only a level 1. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind, but it is crazy how gigantic this dino is. Now, we're going to take a very big fall here, but we're not going to take any damage because we are invincible. Now, you can see that he's gigantic. In comparison to the Giganotosaurus, he's, he's, a, he's a fly. He's a fly, honestly, to the Titanosaur. He's just going to have no effect on him. All right, so like I said, we will be looking at their health, their stamina, not so much their oxygen and food, but their weight, their melee damage, and their movement speed. Now, you can see here, he's got 150,000 health. That is a crap ton of health. Now, if we come over to our Gigantosaurus here, I'm pretty sure this guy will only have 17,000? 17,000, yes. So, already, you're going to be in for a very long haul trying to take out one of these with a Giganotosaurus. You'll be in it for a while. Now, the Giganotosaurus also has 400 stamina, uh, 700 weight, 20 melee damage, 100 movement speed, and 10,000 torpor. So, you know, you can tame these guys up a lot easier than the Titanosaurs, but in terms of finding one of them, you're not going to get very far. Alright, so now that we've taken a look at that, now we're just going to quickly run by this guy's stats. He has 2,000 stamina in comparison to the Giganotosaurus's measly 400. I'm sorry, every time I say Giganotosaurus, I change the way I pronounce it. Forgive me, please. Please don't hate. He has 50,000 weight, which is nuts. Now, you can equip the platform saddle on this guy. I'm not sure of what the structure limit is, however, but you can put a lot of stuff. This guy's like the ultimate siege machine. This guy has 100 melee damage and 100 movement speed. Okay, so now we're going to get into a little bit more testing, and what we're going to do is we're going to get them to run a course that we've set up, see who will complete it the fastest. Now, this is going to take a very long time because the Titanus, so I can already tell, is going to take a long time to get over there, but we will do it nonetheless for you guys to view and determine which one you like more. So we're going to go from these rocks to the, you can see the rock outcrop over there. We're going to go from there to there. So we're going to line up our Giga and I'll bring you guys back when we're done. Okay, so the Giga managed to complete the course in about 15 seconds, just under 15 seconds, which is pretty impressive. However, he did run out of stamina rather fast. Oh, and of course we decided to poop while we're doing this. So you see there, that was about 15 seconds and his stamina runs out about the 17 second mark. So he doesn't actually have too much stamina. He's only got about 17 seconds of sprint speed and then he's tired out and you're going to have to wait. Mind you, this is only a level 1 so you obviously will be able to tame higher level 1s up with higher stamina gain. However, they wouldn't be too substantially different between the two because the Titanosaur's level gains aren't that much. Alright, so next up is the big bad boy, the Titanosaur. Alrighty, so we just finished running the course with the Titanosaur. And he actually managed to complete it in 24 seconds, which I'm pretty impressed by. That was only 9 seconds shorter than what the Giga completed it in. So, you know, there's not that much of a speed difference between the two, which I was actually surprised by. I was expecting the Titanosaur to be a lot slower than what, in reality, he really is. He's actually quite a bit faster. I think it's just because of his sheer size, he's just able to overstep everything. Like, you can see now we're, we're wading through the water and we're just stepping on it. We're not even swimming. Alrighty, so next up we are going to take a look at their swim speed in water and I've got a really bad feeling about this because I feel like we're going to be here forever. And you can see here our regular swimming spot that we go to use to see how fast dinos swim has no effect on the Titanosaur whatsoever because he's just stamping right through it. So instead we're going to go to the deep ocean 
We're going to take our sweet time getting over there, but hopefully it's worth it and we'll see how fast you can actually swim. And we've made it into water. And, well, you can see for yourself, he's not the greatest of swimmers. But it is noted that he can't actually attack underwater or anything. So he will eventually run out of stamina and drown if you're not careful. Now, you, this can be used as a way to lure wild Titanosaurs into the water, which you can then kill for a lot of easy experience points because he can't attack and he'll just drown. But you have to make sure you actually get the final hit on him before he drowns, which is kind of the worrisome thing. So finally, after making it back to where the Giga was, we managed to get back here to test his swim speed, and we kind of broke the game in the process, killing, I think it was a Tyrannodon that we killed, and it kind of broke the game. But you can see here, the Giga Notosaurus is just as bad as the Titanosaur when it comes to swim speed. The Giga is probably slightly faster. Um, however, the Titanosaur would be able to cover more ground due to its sheer size, which is kind of the advantage that the Titanosaur has going for itself. It's just that that big that it can pretty much outrun most of the larger dinos, or keep up with as many as the larger dinos. So his swim speed isn't the greatest. Alrighty, turning radius of the two. Now you can see here the Giga's turning radius obviously isn't the greatest because of his sheer size, but it is still rather good for a dino of his caliber and size. You know, I mean, this is just his walking speed, but you, you take it up a notch to his sprinting speed and it's, it's slightly better. Like you can see here, we're able to make sharp turns pretty, pretty efficiently. So, you know, you could keep that in mind when taming up a Giga that he does have a pretty good turning radius. Now, the Titanosaur, on the other hand, well, that's a very different story. You can see here, obviously, because of how big he is, his turning radius is going to be astronomical. Like, that's how big it is. We're using space words because of how big it is. Now, you can see here, we're going to be here for a century. Just, you know, rounding our way around in a circle. Yep, casually, we'll get where we need to be eventually. Just, just just, bear with me, guys. Five minutes later, we'll, we'll finally get there. Hold on. I think we're getting it. Oh, the gig is in the way. That's all right. We'll just step over him as well because we're that bloody big. All right. Well, you saw there. His turning radius is rather large. Although, you, you got you to gotta give the guy. Just because just cause he's big doesn't mean he's going to have a small turning radius. So just keep that in mind when you're taking on enemy forts and everything. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention about the Titanosaur was that he is a temporary tame, if you don't already know that. So what that means is I think you have 20 to 16 hours after you tame him to do what you need to do before he dies. That's right. After you tame him, you can't actually feed him anything. So he will die after a certain amount of time. Now, I'm not sure if that's the case with my one. Yes, it is. You can see there it's depleted. So it was 8,640 and it's gone down to 8,523. So once that hits zeros, it dies. And you no longer have a Titanosaur in your mitts. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at their melee damage, I believe. Okie dokie, so they're melee damage. Now this mammoth down here so voluntarily decided to become our test dummy. Now you can see here the Giga only has one primary attack which is that button there. And you can see there he only does 96 damage. Which is, it isn't much. Yeah, well, um, it kind of is. That, that, that is his DPS. Now he does have a melee damage of only 20%. Which is kind of low. Now you can see here if we bump it up one level, 20.2. Okay, alright, alright, calm down big fella. Okay, that's new. I haven't seen that before. Now, instead of 96 damage, he'll only do slightly... No, never mind. He still does 96 damage. So, there's no real point in leveling up the Giga's melee damage. You're more better suited for leveling up him, him up in health and stamina. I mean, you still don't get that many points with him because he's that much of a powerful dinosaur. But in comparison to the Titanosaur, he does have really nothing going for himself. Alrighty, so you saw that he's only got 96 DPS, which isn't much. Now, one thing that I have not mentioned with the Giga is that he does have a Rage Meter. You can see next to our health, there is a little red kind of... I uh, see. You can see there, there's a little red thing. Same as the Woolly Rhino, except this guy, it's a Rage Indicator. So if you have a tamed tire Giga Notosaurus, sorry, and he's hit by, say, a rocket, a single rocket will send him into Rage Mode, and he will turn on everyone in the tribe. He will just go apeshit on everything. He'll attack your tames, he'll attack your tribe mates, he'll attack your enemy, he'll attack your enemy's tribe mates and your dinos as well as the enemy dinos. He doesn't care who he's attacking. You piss him off, you're going to feel his wrath. So that's the thing with the Jigger. So the enemy can use that to their advantage by obviously shooting a rocket into him and he will dislodge the rider and then attack everything in sight. Okay, so the Titanosaur. Now the Titanosaur only has 100 melee damage as well. 
but he does have two attacks. He has a front stomp attack, which we just killed our mammoth with, and you saw there, 1,550 damage. 1,550 damage. That is absolutely bonkers. That is crazy. Now, you saw there, he does have that attack, and he also has his secondary attack, which is like a little uh, foot stomp for any enemy dinos behind him. Um, we will come up into the water over here just so I can show you how much damage they do. They do both do the same amount of damage. Now he also has a passive one where he just walks over anything. That also does damage to other dinosaurs. You can see there it did 900 damage, but we kind of just broke the game again. And you saw there 1550, so both of his attacks do 1550 damage. Now one thing about the, the Titanosaur that I have not mentioned is that he does do damage to metal structures with his attacks. Now he's the only dino to do damage to metal structures with his attacks. Now you saw there they're at 1500 health and I'm pretty I'm not sure how much damage they do exactly but we'll find out shortly. Now if we do one of these, I'm going to jump down, take a look. I'm not sure if that did damage. I think we were too far away from it. Yes, we were. Okay, so we're going to get closer and hit him. Okay, so we've run into a little bit of a problem because this is our tamed titanosaur and these are our foundations. We can't actually show you how much damage his attacks do, but I can tell you that he is able to smash. Ele uh, sorry, he is able to smash the foundations in only eleven attacks. That's right, eleven of his stomping attacks. Either his front one or his back one will destroy the metal foundations in eleven hits, which you know you can use massively to your advantage when you're raiding enemy bases and they're made out of metal. Now, like I said, he is the only dino capable of destroying metal structures, which you know, it's rather impressive. Alrighty, now next up we're going to take a look at the level increments. Now, because he is a single tame and you, you know, he runs out in 20 hours, you can't actually level up the Titanosaur, but I will put up a table showing the Giganotosaurus's level up attributes, and like I said, he doesn't have really much going for him in terms of health, stamina, melee damage, and movement speed every level, which is kind of disappointing and a little bit sad for the Giga to be honest. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to set them to fight each other. So before we do that, we've already set our Titanosaur to aggressive. We're just going to fix up the Giganotosaurus and we will set them on each other. Okay, and we are ready to go. The Titanosaur is just chilling over there. We're going to get rid of this Mammoth Corp. No, we'll leave it there. It doesn't matter. Our Giganotosaurus is unclaimed and set to aggressive and we are going to activate them and we will see who wins. Now, I can already tell you I'm, I know who wins. There's... Yeah, you can see, there's no way this Giga is going to survive up against the Titanosaur. Like, look, he's doing 96 damage, the Titanosaur is doing 1550 damage. And it looks like the Titanosaur is actually hitting the Giga faster than the Giga is able to hit the Titanosaur. Which is, which is amazing. Like, look at that. That, <laughs> you can't really do anything about that. He's, he's dead. There's no way. Yeah, easy. Easy kill. Okay. And the Titanosaur breaks the game. Now, what we're going to do before we end this is we are now going to, you can see, look, he, he did, what, 20,000 health, which, you know, isn't bad for a Giga, but still, that's nothing. What we're going to do now is we are going to spawn in a Wild Giga, because the Wild Gigas are substantially more powerful than Tamed Gigas, and we'll see how the Titanosaur copes against one of those. Alrighty, and the Wild Giga has now been spawned in, and they're looking directly at each other. So what we're going to do now is enter the Players Only command, and we will be set to go. Now, like I said, the Titanosaur, you can only get three on each island map. And once that happens, there aren't really any more dinos that can be spawned in once they are tamed, which is very strange in a way. But, you know, he only lasts about 20 hours. Now, the Wild Giga is going after him, and the Wild Giga is already doing a lot more damage than the Tamed Giga. You can see there, he's getting angrier and angrier with every hit of the Titanosaur's foot. You can see there, it's slowly increasing, but now it's started to drop back down, and they're away again. Now, I honestly do not think this Giga will be able to take out the Titanosaur. The Giga is only a level 28, while our Titanosaur is only level 1. And we're just losing all our other dinos now. The Titanosaur looks like he's trying to run away. Uh, we're going to quickly whistle passive for our other guy, Giganotosaurus, that are deciding to come in and join the fun. But for you, we're going to set to aggressive. Alright, there we go. So that's all back in order. Now, it looks like the Titanosaur is getting a bit bloody. I'm not sure how we're doing against the Giga. Okay, this is, this is bad. Our other Gigas have decided to come in. And our Titanosaur is coming back around. Are you coming back around? He's coming back around. Here he comes. While he's 
I don't know what he's doing. No, he's set to aggressive, so he's just going nuts. Okay, we're going to try and get back to where the gig is at. And I feel like our other giggers are going to die before that happens. It's just a little mishap in the video. That's all right. We're just going to knock all these trees over while we're in the process. All right. Now, we are taking bleeding damage. I did forget about that. Okay, there we go. Now, he should be set to killing the giga. Is he killing it? I can't see. I'm not sure if he's running away or he's trying to get closer to the giga. I, I can't tell you, to be honest. These two are fighting. Okay, well, I don't think our giga is going to take out this one. You coming back up here, buddy, to help your friend? No? You're going to stand down there? Well, this guy should run out eventually and go for our Titanosaur. I think, I hope. Yep. He's going to eat. Okay, well, that kind of diminishes the point because he's now pretty much fully healed. Um, okay, well, this was a bit of a fail. Titanosaur, you're just going to stand there and look pretty and menacing. Now, I, will, I do think our Titanosaur will die now due to the Giga running away and eating meat and being able to heal himself. But for some reason, yeah, you can see that he's dead now. So, well, that was a bit of a fail. I do think the Titanosaur would have easily been able to take out the Giga, though. I can, I can guarantee it almost. I would bet money on it. So, you know, definitely don't take the Titanosaur out of this. But, you know, guys, that'll be it for today. Hopefully you guys found this useful and, oh, okay, and exciting as much as I did. And look at our windswept hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at our windswept hair. It looks so majestic. I think that's just our hair is having a heart attack from seeing a giga so close to us, a wild one anyway. Alrighty, guys. Well, that'll be it for today. Let me know what you guys thought of this down below. But for now, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.